Hi and welcome to another video by Get It Done Home Repairs. Today's project we're going to be replacing this chain on this chainsaw. Now this one as you can see it's a Poland chainsaw but the procedure is basically the same for whatever chainsaw you're going to be replacing the chain on. Now as you know a chain can be sharpened a few times and then after it sharpened a couple of times it's just past its life expectancy and it's time to replace it. This chain has served us well and it's time for it to be replaced with a new one. Alright so like I said it's a 16 inch blade but the most important thing is that if, if you have the owner's manual obviously you're going to look it up in the, in the manual and it'll tell you exactly what you need. If you don't have the manual look on the saw itself and you'll be able to find the SOAR, the, the brand of course, which in this particular case is Poland, it tells you the model number and, and everything you need to know. On here it will tell you certain important things such as the chain itself here. It will give you all of the information you need to know right up inside here that you need to know. Now in this particular case we need, it's very important, we need to know how many drive links it has. This one has got 55. So you cannot use one that has 56 drive links because the chain itself, even though it's a 16 inch, it's going to be slightly longer than the chain that belongs on there and it will not work. Uh, and it, then it tells you the, the part number, which sometimes you can look it up by part number, sometimes you can't. This particular one we were not able to look it up by part number. Um, it tells you the length of it, of course. It tells you the gauge and most importantly it tells you the pitch of the uh, on that's needed. All right, so let me just show you what what we picked up. This is the one that we picked up. Not that I'm pushing this particular brand, but as you can see, it's 55 drive links. It's a 16 inch um, blade, a saw blade. Uh, what else we have? It has a uh, 30 uh, three point uh, three eighths of an inch um, profile. The point zero five. Okay. So we have everything we need to know. And you can look on the back, of course, and you'll be able to look up the saw you have here to see if your saw is covered on this particular one. And this one, as you can see right here, this is the saw that we're changing right here. All right, so enough talking. Let's open this up. Let's pull this out of the package, and let's change it. All right, so I'm going to bring you in so you can watch what I'm doing. And, oh, you know what? This is all you're going to need to do a job. A Phillips head screwdriver and another screwdriver such as this to clean out any of the debris that's up inside this area right here once we open it up and of course we're going to need a rag like this so we can clean out any, any of the debris inside there. Alright, obviously we have it unplugged so we have no choice, no chance on being hurt. Alright, the first thing we're going to do, I'll bring you in so you can watch what I'm doing. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take our book, we're going to move the book out of the way over here, we're going to take our Phillips head screwdriver we're going to tilt this up just a little bit and we're going to take out this Phillips head screw right here don't lose the screw because you are definitely going to need it to put this back together alright so we'll take the screw out like this put it off to the side We'll put the screwdriver here to the side as well. Now we're going to take this right here and we're going to un, uh, unlock this piece right here so we can remove it. So we're going to go counterclockwise, just like this. Right. Okay. And we'll take this off. Like this. Now at this point, we're going to come in here and we're going to clean off all of this debris that you see inside here. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a lot of debris inside there. We're going to clean this all out here so that this is nice and clean. Let's turn this so you can see it this way here. I'm going to reposition you so you can see what I'm doing here a little clearer. Okay. Okay, so we're going to clean out all of the debris that's up inside here and here and we'll get it cleaned out a little bit. We're going to clean out all of this stuff inside here as well. We have it open, we may as well clean it out. It doesn't have to be spotless, this is just from the oil, from the uh, self-oiling chain. And we'll put this to the side for now. And now we're going to loosen up this chain here. But before we take the chain off, we're going to take our new chain 
out of the package, which we did cut open already. And we're going to take our chain out. Be careful, it's a little bit sharp. You may wind up cutting yourself. We're going to lay the chain out the way it's going to go back on to the saw itself. Now, if you look right here, you'll see that this blade here, let's bring it in so you can see. You see the chain itself? You see how these teeth are facing towards the front of the saw? That's the way that we need to put this chain here back on there. So that the chain itself, these links are facing towards the front of the saw itself. Otherwise it'll be reversed and it won't work. All right, so this is the way that it is here. You can see. Okay, so now we're just gonna lay this chain out so that we have no mistakes. This chain is gonna go just like this. Okay, teeth are facing towards the front. Teeth are facing towards the front. Next, we're going to take this piece right here. We're just going to rotate it, and you'll see that the chain loosens up like that. Okay, and we'll take this, and we're just going to pull this off like this. We're taking it off of this gear right here because that's what drives the chain. We're going to take this and lay it down right here for now. We're going to clean out all of the dirt and debris that you see up inside here because we don't want to have it interfering with anything when we put it back together. We don't want any of that dirt getting in this area here and causing a problem when you try to put the new chain in. You don't want the dirt going inside there and restricting it from going in. All right, so now we're going to clean this all out here. Once it's clean enough for you, you'll take your chain here. Just lift it this way here. Take the chain off like this. Take the chain and just put it off to the side. We're going to take our screwdriver, very small screwdriver. We're going to clean out where the where the chain is going to be going to be running, just to make sure we have no debris inside there. And as you can see, there is some debris that's inside here. You don't have a lot in there because the chain does run through it, but I always clean it out just to play it safe. It takes an extra minute, but it saves you from having any problems with the chain itself. So we're gonna clean that groove out. You can see this. See that stuff inside there? I'm gonna bring it in so you can see what I'm doing a little closer. See here? As you can see, there's quite a bit of stuff inside that groove. So we're just going to clean it all out. Does it have to be meticulously cleaned? No. We just need to get out most of the most of the stuff that's inside there. As you can see, quite a bit. As you can see, we had a lot of stuff come out of that, that little groove right inside there. So we made sure it's nice and clean now, and now we'll start to put the chain back together. We're just going to wipe off the chain itself, okay? All right, now we know what's going to be going on like this, okay? So now we'll take our chain, put the chain around the front just like this. Put it in the chain in here like this. 
Same thing here. Around just like this. Okay. And then we'll take this. And we're going to put this back over that stud sticking out right there. And in here, which we're going to put the drive links on there. I know my arm is in the way. I'll be out here in a second. Okay, we'll put our drive links over here, just like that. Show you real close. Okay, it goes right on here like this. And now we're going to turn this very slightly, just to get a little bit of a pull where the links go up inside, just like this. Okay. I'm going to tilt this up just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, just like that. Next we'll take our cover that we previously cleaned out. And then we're going to put our cover back on here. We're going to line this up with that little stud right there. And then we're just going to turn it so that it screws in just a little bit, not tight, just snug. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our Phillips head screw that we previously removed. We're going to put it in here and screw it in. Like that. Nice and tight. Okay. And now we're going to check the chain to make sure it's nice and tight. It is pretty decent, but let me show you how I got to that point. We're going to loosen this up, and this outer ring right here, we're going to rotate this outer ring, and as you can see, see how the chain gets looser and tighter? We're just going to tighten it up a little bit, snug it up. You should have a little bit of a, of a play in the chain itself, not much, just very little, just like that. And once you have that set, you're going to screw this down here and tighten it up. This is to adjust the chain, and this is to lock the adjustment. Okay, nice and tight. We're going to screw it down tight, and that's it. Our chain is on. The teeth now are facing towards the front. As I showed you before, you can see how they're facing towards the front, or maybe you can't. You see how the teeth are facing towards the front right now? And that's it. Okay, so we have the chain is now tightened up the way it's supposed to be. A little bit of play in here. This is now tight. This is our adjustment. Our screw in here is tight. We're going to check our oil while we're in here. We're going to fill the oil up as well. And that's it. This chain should be ready to go. Okay, so that's it. Our chainsaw is done. The chain is on. It's, it's, it's exactly as it's supposed to be. Now, I will point this out to you. After you use the chainsaw, probably three, four, five times, you're going to notice that the chain is going to loosen up a little bit. Once that chain loosens up, you want to come back and do the adjustment just to make sure that your, that your adjustment is, is, is not too tight and it's not too loose. You don't want to have the chain hanging down on the bottom all the way down like that. All right, so that's it. This is all set. And again, to adjust it later on, you're just going to loosen up this piece right here. You loosen up this, this piece here loosen it and then the outer ring here you can adjust it tighter or looser as needed and you tighten it up and that's it you're all set to go all right so that's it this, jo this job is done let's go out back and we're going to cut down some trees all right as always thanks for watching i'll see you guys on the next one